Hey y'all, I'm back doing some voltage starving again today, this time on Eurorack. A few weeks back, I had a conversation with Spectral Evolver, who was voltage starving his expensive Moog synthesizers, his uh, DFAM and his Subharmonicon, and I am way too chicken to do that. However, there is this Eurorack module here, Mangle, that lets you safely do voltage starving of an op amp, of an amplifier in your Eurorack. Now, as always, the disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm not trying to sell you this module, but I've been playing with it a few days, and since it's relatively new, I thought I'd post a video that shares some of the sounds that are coming out of this. So you can find an explanation of the module elsewhere, but this is a passive module that lets you send in your CV voltage, your control voltage, I guess CV voltage is a redundancy now that I think about it, that lets you send in CV to either power or starve the op amp chips. Let's stop the sequence going for a second here, just so we can look at it. There's other stuff on here. I just want to acknowledge that I'm not today going to talk about this clipping at all, just because we want to focus entirely on talking about the voltage starving aspect. Again, you know, y'all can find out about diode clipping somewhere else, or I can talk about it some other time. Neat features, um, but not what we care about today. For that same reason, again, we won't talk about the clipping. We also won't talk about overdriving these amplifiers, which you can easily do by turning up the volume and getting some interesting clipping sounds. Let's instead just focus on the sounds of the starving itself. Now, by voltage starving, we are distorting the waveform that comes in. And so when we distort things, we add harmonics to it. And so for that reason, my first interest was to run a sine wave into this thing. Again, sine waves don't have any harmonics, just the fundamental frequency, and see what happens. So this is just a sine wave running in. Right now, I've got voltage coming from the maths. That's all maths is doing for us today is sending in voltage. Right now I'm coming out of channel three of the maths, which is just this knob uh, here lets me adjust the voltage. So I think I've got something now that is not clipping. This doesn't sound distorted at all. Uh, if I turn this up, it still doesn't distort. But what might be interesting now is as we turn this down, Now that op amp, and again, uh, this switch lets you choose between the op amps. If I switch this to two, it's this friend here. If I have it on one, it's the one that's inside, which we can't see. But now that op amp is not getting enough voltage. And so we're getting a distortion of the waveform that's coming in. Let's, let's mess around with this a little bit more. Bring it back up. Again, here we're getting enough voltage. Starting to not get enough. And we get those distortions coming in there. I can sequence this sine wave, and then I can tie the gate of that to an envelope coming out here. Okay, and so now that starving, the amount of starving, has an envelope that's shaped over time, which is a pretty interesting idea. I've talked about other modules like the uh, Synclassic Ampulatrix that has an envelope that's a clipping envelope, and so similar idea, introducing harmonics over the envelope of the note. Again, this is interesting because this is parametric support, which we've talked about before. Different parameters, the amplitude envelope, the shape of the note, is also affecting the timbre, not just the amplitude. Okay, that's neat. Back to our constant voltage. Let's switch out our material. I'm a cool guy. This is the sound of me talking. All right, here's a sample. About synthesizer. Let's starve it. I'm a cool guy. This is the sound By the way, before I start talking. starving it, I like talking about synthesizers. I'm listening I'm to this cool to make sure it's guy. not clipping. I can adjust this amplitude this is here. The sound of me talking. 
I like talking about synthesizers. I'm a cool guy. We can hear that's gotten louder. This is the sound of me talking. But we can I also like hear about synthesizers. We can also hear that by doing that, we're introducing some overdrive harmonics from pushing this too hard. And so, again, that's interesting. That's cool. It's just not what I want to talk about today. Synthesizer. Cool guy. Regular. This is the sound of me talking. I like talking about synthesizers. I'm a cool guy. This is the sound of me talking. I like talking about synthesizers. Okay, pretty cool. We can now just set this cycling like an LFO. I like talking about synthesizers. I'm a cool guy. This is the sound of me talking. I like talking about synthesizers. I'm a cool guy. Sound of me talking. I like talking about synthesizers. I'm a cool guy. This is the sound of me talking. I like talking about synthesizers. Okay, that's not at all annoying. Let's stop it. <laughs> By the way, I've got no input running in right now, and we can still hear the noise of ascending and, and retreating from our, our voltage there. Let's run in uh, a drum beat. Stop the cycling for a second. Pardon my hand in the way there. Okay, back to this knob. Here we go. Just for fun, let's switch to this amp, which I can do by flicking the switch. Starve it. Switch the chip. Very different sounds between between those two. I mean, I think this is a pretty cool idea. Let's run our sine wave back in. So there you go, a way to safely explore voltage starving on your Eurorack. Interesting idea, and again, the ability to overdrive stuff, I mean, just for fun, we could do that real quick. Let's turn on, whoops, let's turn on some clipping. I mean, with the clipping, you can get some really sort of brassy sounds in there, too. But of course, I should acknowledge that that's a different kind of distortion. That's not the voltage-starving distortion. Again, not, nothing wrong with having multiple different ways to distort your sound in one place. Cool idea. Again, if you're interested in this stuff and haven't seen it yet, check out that conversation with me and Spectral Volver. I talk about voltage starving for circuit bending, and he talks about how he got a special power supply for his Moog gear and starved everything from it once. So not just the amplifiers, he starved the oscillators, the clock, all this stuff at the same time. And maybe I'll throw up a link to his video on that here. That's all I got for today. Mess around with starving the voltage on some $1 Goodwill toys. Pick up this module, or if you're braver, get an adjustable voltage power supply and see what sounds you discover. Catch you next time.